Next on the list, though, of big risers. If it wasn't Julio Jones exploding, it was Kenyon Drake. Not one, not two, not three. Four touchdowns this week, in addition to 137 yards. Holy hell. If you somehow started Kenyon Drake, and if you had him, you probably did. He's been the workhorse for the better part of two months now since getting traded to Arizona. So congratulations if you had him in there. Almost 40 fantasy points on the day for this guy. What an effort for Kenyon Drake. He had 10 career touchdowns entering this game. Nearly gets half of those in a single effort. What a dominant performance from him. Couple big reminders out of this one. One, the Cardinals lead back as long as Cliff Kingsbury is there is going to be an RB1. We saw David Johnson putting up top five running back numbers each and every week for those first six weeks before getting hurt. Chase Edmonds then takes the throne and has a 33-point day before he goes down. And then Kenyon Drake right off the streets uh, and ultimately... He comes in with multiple RB1 efforts. There was a little bit of congestion, a little bit of, you know, ugliness for the last few weeks. David Johnson a little too involved, but they went back to their usual workhorse ways. Kenyon Drake dominating in that span. Uh, And again, the biggest scoring running back of Week 15. Congratulations if you started him. You're on your way to a title. Looking forward to 2020. I just raved about the system. Whoever is that lead back, whether it's back to David Johnson, and speculation is he's going to be gone, that they're going to be trying to move him. Please go to the Chiefs. What a perfect fit. They love it. And Andy Reid workhorse. They just haven't had one this year with pass catching chops. Oh, God, David Johnson there. If he gets that explosion back, would be a beast. Kenyon Drake, a free agent but you've got to imagine he's really played himself into the Cardinals' plans moving forward. So keeper leagues, if he goes there, his value could never be higher. Uh, the, the, the Cardinals would be the perfect landing spot for this guy. And if not, whether it's a rookie, whether Chase Edmonds, whoever it is, I will be taking in the first two rounds because this backfield system is that great. It doesn't even really matter the talent. And I love Kenyon Drake. He fits it like a glove. We've always said the guy just needs the opportunity, and he goes and shows why.